We're here on George Washington University's Virginia Science and Technology Campus to celebrate the first public viewing of the Museum's Conservation and Collection Resource Center. This is an important occasion because it marks the first time that we are virtually ready to move the collection from its former home to this specially constructed facility. The new storage systems are state-of-the-art cabinets that are all very specific to the needs of the collection that's going to be stored in them so that we can fit more into the space that we have. The Dye Lab is a really exciting aspect of our conservation lab. I know our conservation staff is very excited to use a better system, stovetops, and a bigger space in order to work on creating dyes that match the textiles. The freezer is very exciting for us. It's an important aspect of our integrated pest management program, particularly for collections of textiles. Freezing is really the most efficient way of eradicating any of those problems. So the freezer is very exciting for us. The 20,000 object textile collection is going to be stored here, and this will be the place that scholars will come to view original works. Materials will be available online to see images, but to examine the work in place, you'll come out here. Also, because of the conservation lab and because of the museum management systems we have, it is a terrific place for students from museum studies, museum education, and from many of the academic programs to actually do hands-on work with collections where they can gain valuable museum experience that can help them in their future careers. This Conservation and Collection Resource Center is key to the museum and to the museum adding richness in its scholarship, arts, and promotion of cultural understanding as part of GW's Global Citizenship Initiative. Everyone associated with George Washington University should be so proud of this facility. Images that are taken do not capture the enormity of the scale or the first class quality of the construction that made this what we see today.